Tucked away in a small building at IIT Madras is a small research centre that is working for a future, a extraterrestrial space-bound future. XTEM or Extraterrestrial Manufacturing is a research centre that was started at the Indian Institute of Technology here in Chennai using an Institute of Eminence grant by the IIM administration. This institute was started in 2021 by Professor Satyan Subaya and it works on manufacturing in space, for space and also for Earth. It's in fact making waves in the world and taking forward India's research in microgravity and space manufacturing. But unlike other space manufacturing centres which are focused on building satellites and rockets, XTEM is doing something a little different. It's not building for how to reach space. It's building for what to do once we are already in space. How does a research center achieve this feat? The grounding for any research center and any experiment is the ability to be able to test it. But how can experiments built for the near vacuum, gravity-less expanse of space be tested on Earth? The XM scientists needed zero or microgravity conditions for their work. So microgravity is essential to do our experiments because all our experiments need to be tested in space environment. So for example, if I'm talking about space environment, I'm looking somewhere about, uh, I'm looking for temperatures in space, I'm looking for pressure level in space, and main thing is the microgravity in space. So how to uh, simulate, I can say simulate microgravity in Earth. So because everyone knows like microgravity, if I go to this lower orb orbit or somewhere there, I'll get microgravity is known fact. But how can I simulate the microgravity in Earth is a challenge. So for that we have uh, something called drop tower, we have parabolic flight and uh, these things. Parabolic flight are comparatively costly where we need to board a flight like our commercial flight, we need a flight which can take uh, parabolas, uh, manoeuvres uh, and we need a train pilot for that and also it's very costly. Uh, the only feasible option what we have uh, for a university level setup is a, para uh, it's a drop tower. Yeah. Okay. So in a drop tower, uh, we have uh, according to the height of the drop tower, we have the microgravity duration and the drop tower what we have at IIT Madras is like uh, having 2.5 seconds of uh, microgravity duration. So within this 2.5 seconds of microgravity, uh, we are uh, planning our experiment and we are going to test whatever can be tested in the 2.5 seconds window. The XTEM Research Center utilizes India's only microgravity drop tower that is present in IIT Madras. Built in 2018, the drop tower is the fourth largest in the world and has been used for other space-related experiments by even ISRO scientists. Situated at a height of 30 meters, this drop tower essentially works on the principle that any object that is dropped from a significant height experiences a few seconds of weightlessness or microgravity. The XTEM team has uh, multiple professors and people working from different fields, be it aeronautics to mechanical to even biotechnology. So each of them have their own set of experiments that they carry out and they all have their own verticals. But there's one thing that unites them, which is what is life on space going to look like? Which is why the XTEM Research Center has multiple projects running all at once. So while one team is trying to figure out how to manufacture concrete in Mars without using water, another team is studying how optical fibers, which are really important in strategic and defense sectors, are formed in microgravity settings in space. In fact, these scientists have found that optical fibers are actually formed better. Microgravity helps in making clearer and better formation of optical fibers. Yeah, so if you think about you know manufacturing in space, uh, space gives you a, a sort of a new set of constraints to work with, right? Um, uh, so if I have to make things in space, means uh, one, one thing obviously is you know okay now you have just soil on the surface of the moon on Mars, so you need to now look for experts who are uh, you know related to that, and uh, if you want to build structures on the moon or Mars, you need civil engineers for that naturally, for instance, right? Um, in fact, civil engineers are also doing manufacturing of buildings now, yeah. 3D printing of buildings, so to speak. Right? Yeah. So it's an area naturally that civil engineers will come in. Um, uh, uh, and manufacturing in general is a term that involves the shaping of various materials. Right? So you don't have gravity as a driving factor, one of the driving factors now. So how do materials behave? So naturally, material scientists will come and play. 
metallurgists etc coming to play this interdisciplinary nature of the research center is what drew students like neelak menarya a master student in the department of metallurgy in iit madras to work with extem so i was already interested in space but my background was in mechanical engineering so this was the only way where i could uh, explore both the topics as well and uh, so when i approached uh, so when i approached one of the professor here for masters so they told that okay they are working in one interdisciplinary project which is known as extraterrestrial manufacturing which was very enticing to me at that time so again uh, so i asked them what project can a material scientist be involved in so they told that it is with metal foams so metal foams is a type of porous material so here we have a porous material as well so it is a type of porous material which can be used in lightweight applications and uh, since is in space weight is such a big uh, big factor because more the weight more money it will involve to again send it into space so lighter material there will be advantages so metal foam is one of the candidates which can be used in space for variety of uh, applications such as um, maybe uh, protection from micro meteoroids building structures out of it where humans can live when asked about whether this research is too difficult or other worldly at this stage when humans haven't yet started settling on space director dr subaya emphasizes that it's rather the perfect time for such research to emerge i think 3 years back when 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 i was talking about this it was only very exotic but now after we have sort of spread the message around and what uh, uh, people are starting to see what is happening around the world so when i tell them oh, hey this is what nasa is doing this is what esa is doing this is what jaxa is doing uh, and then uh, and then isro has now has its own plans of launching a bharti antrikshya space station they want to go to the moon they already gone to the moon but they want to have humans on the moon now yeah uh, uh, so so when people see this oh what nasa what is already go- what is going on in the world and uh, what what kind of experiments people have done on the iss for the last 20 years right and where isro wants to go where the country wants to go as well so now it's just like oh this is exciting field this is definitely needed so that's sort of how i see the uh, uh, people's reactions change from 4 years back to now i think that's a good thing while it might seem futuristic and like a scene from a sci-fi movie to quite a few people for the researchers at extem they could not be going fast enough India steady milestones in space technology and research with projects like the Gaganyaan mission the plan to put a man on the moon by 2040 and even India's own space station are all evidence of the fact that India needs a research station like Extem because very soon just going to space is not going to be enough for India we will need to have to figure out what we can do once we are in space and how we can utilize the atmosphere and the conditions in space for our country's and the world's benefit this is akanksha mishra reporting for the print